What's going on everybody? All right, my family has already tried this stuff and they want me to try it. So I'm gonna do a video because they say people do videos about stuff like this. And what this is on the package, it said Mexican candy. So uh, I'm gonna try lots of different Mexican candies today. And I'm actually going to have my assistant here hand me the package. Did you order this off Amazon? I did. <clears throat> so we got this off Amazon. Um, Ole Rico Mexican Candy Mix. Maybe I said that right. My Spanish is horrible. But there's a ton of it. There's a lot of it. And uh, they've already tried it. And well, here we go. And then I got some of this chamoy. It, just, it looks like uh, spaghetti sauce. That's <laughs> what it looks like to me in the bottle. <clears throat> and then I've got this just in case. So here we go. First things first, uh, we're going right into Ribonaditas. I, I don't know. I, hopefully I said that right. Um, it, it apparently looks kind of like a sucker. It has a watermelon on it. It has a watermelon on it. If it tastes like watermelon, I'm going to like it. All right, let's see what we got here. I'd like to see the date, because this looks like it molded. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. Oh, so I'd like to say here in the Southern United States, this smells nothing like the watermelon we eat. Uh, all right, uh, country boy tries Mexican candy. Here we go. Oh, oh, I should not have put the whole thing in my mouth. Oh, oh, tastes like feet. That's horrible. How can you feed this to your kids? Ah, I'm gonna make a care package and send to Mexico full of suckers. Ah, God, that's awful. And it just lingers with you. It's not like it goes away. It's it's like it's it's there. It's not going anywhere. Ah, that's so bad. What's on that? Chili powder. They put chili powder on suckers. That goes in chili. Maybe tacos. I don't know, but they don't go suckers. Ah, oh, that's horrible. All right. This is Manita. And it has a hand on it. And I don't know what that means. But that one tasted like feet. So I don't have high hopes for this. It looks like a hand. And I got to be honest. This one looks more like a sucker you would find here in the States. I must have COVID. I can't smell it. <laughs> there's literally no... There's no smell to this. And the backside of it looks like they smack somebody because their hand's kind of... I don't know, puffy. Here we go. I'm a little nervous. Tastes like a sucker to me. I can eat that. I can eat that. That first one on a scale of one to 10 is like a negative three. It's horrible. This, you know, it's eight or nine. I mean, it tastes like a sucker. Good. If you find one of these in Mexico and you're looking for something sweet, try it. It'll work. If you find that other thing, Put it in some chili, flavor it. This has a turd on it. I can't wait to find, I can't wait to put this in my mouth. This is gonna be extraordinary. I can already tell. Mango, no. Anybody ever seen a mango like that? 
I'm guessing this has chili powder on it as well because it looks like the same thing that's on the other one and everybody in the background is shaking their head yes, let's try it. <sighs> Why? Why? Here we go. Oh God. It smells just like the other thing. It, it makes me... I, if, if you live in the States, you know what I'm fixing to talk about. It's like a warhead. You put a warhead in your mouth and you have to suffer through the sour till you get to the sweet. Is this Mexico's warhead? They put they put chili powder on it and you have to suffer through the chili powder to get to the sweet? God, I don't want to try that. I, I don't know if I want to try that. How many licks does it take to get to the center of the crap stick? Because <laughs> that's what it looks like on the front of it. I know, I'm not trying to make fun of everything y'all do, but that, that's what it looked like. It almost looks like the poop emoji. Oh, God. I've never dreaded something so much in my life. Oh, for the love of God. Mm. There is no way I can leave this in my mouth until, oh, I got to try some. I got some scissors. I can't cut it. Oh, I got it. I just want to lick the inside of this and some of it went to the floor. The inside is sweet. It tastes like mango. I really think I'm on to something with the whole warhead thing where you suffer through the outside and once you get to the inside, it's sweet. Cause you can see right here, I cut it too. And you can see it looks like a sucker on the inside. And the sucker really tastes like mango. It tastes just like mango, but you are a man if you made it through that outside. I mean, yeah. That's, uh, I, I, I just came up with that. I really think that hypothesis is correct. I think this is the Mexican warhead. You suffer through the chili powder. Then the sweet release of the sweet sucker comes out. I could never get through that. I would have to like take a knife and be like, <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't come off. All right, so next. We have Rocca Letta, and everybody is laughing pretty hard right now. It says chili. Shit. <laughs> Listen, you can make candy without chili on it. I swear, we do it. You can make candy without putting chili on it. People will like you more when they go to buy it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, chili, four layers, and gum center lollipop. All right, so I just want to throw this out here. We have a thing called a, what is that pop that has the gum in it? It's not a Tootsie Pop. That has Tootsie Roll in the center of it. I can't remember what it's called. But we have we have blow pops here. Thank you for the help from the back. Um, we have a thing called blow pop. And you know what we don't put on blow pops? We do the, the, the popsicle, or not the popsicle, but the, the, the lollipop, and we do the gum. We don't put chili on it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, here we go. We, we have a lot of this. I'm going to make a few of these. We actually have, is it Korean candy? We have Korean candy and Japanese candy just came in. Looks like a sucker. Maybe they put the chili in the center of this. So when you get so far in, you get the chili. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, let's see what we got here with the goodness. Oh God. <laughs> they didn't put powdered chili on it. I can tell you that. Oh, that's horrible. This, all right. This and this is like a negative three until you get to the inside. 
I'm assuming the inside of the other one probably tastes like watermelon. That's my guess. I didn't get past the powdered chili on the outside, but that's my guess. This is probably about a two. I could probably eat this if I hadn't eaten in seven days. But um, that's horrible. But not as bad as the powdered chili. I just want to say that. Not as bad as the powdered chili. Let's cleanse the palate. Ah, ah, we got some more candy over here, but I'm just getting through the suckers to start with. This Torito, Torito, um, fizzy lollipop fruit, artificially flavored. I've never had a fizzy lollipop. But here's what it looks like. <clears throat> looks like a mug of beer. I mean, it literally looks like you went and got a like a mug of beer and here's your foam on top of it. And they take the little knife and scrape it off. I wonder if it tastes like beer. That's an acquired taste. But I'm gonna tell you, a beer flavored lollipop blows this thing out of the water. All right, here we go. It's not pourable. I'd give that about a six or seven. It's not as good as the hand, but it's not bad. It's really not bad. I don't know what flavor it is, but at least it's sweet. Hence, Candy, fail, but um, it's it's sweet, so I, I give it about, let's say a seven. If, if the hand's an eight, that's probably a seven. Those two, doable, got it. All right, I got this. It just looks like our little dum dum sucker things that we have. It looks just like that. And it's about the same, you can't never get it out of package. You gotta break it loose. All right, what is this? Mini. Palatita Frotita. Probably said that way wrong, but here it is. All right, let's see what we got. <clears throat> Tastes just like a dum dum sucker. One of them little dum dum suckers we got. Little, I guess they're not dum dums. The dum dums are round, but whatever the flat suckers there is, those little cheap flat suckers, taste just like it. I mean, if you like suckers, that's a 10. I mean, there's. It tastes just like one of the little flat suckers we have here in the state. It tastes exactly like you would think a sucker would taste. There's no hidden chili in that. Okay. Pulparindo? Pulparindo? Oh, this is going to be good. I can tell from everybody's reaction behind me, behind the camera. All right. Original with real fruit. What fruit do they have in Mexico? I didn't look that up. Tamarind. Uh, I, this is what this looks like. Uh, oh my God. Uh, if y'all are going to eat this, don't smell it first. Says up. It's going to make things a lot better. And from people getting their phones out behind me, or behind you all, tells me that this is not going to be the best thing I've tried today. But I've got my back up. Oh my God, Ugh. what the, oh God. That's horrible. Oh, <coughs> it's gritty. It's like eating, it's got the texture of sugar, but the taste 
of what I would imagine my dog's butts taste like. It's god awful. Oh God. Oh. Oh God, that's that is bad. Oh, look at this. I don't, I don't know. My dog woke up when I said that. He's like, hey, I, I don't like you talking about my butt that way. But this is no, no. That's horrible. That's bad. Ah, that is so bad. Pulperendo. Ain't that the same thing I just tried? Except in a smaller package? Ah, guess this is what you eat to kind of break into trying the big package. Looks like a Werther's original. I'm guessing it don't taste like it. not bad. I mean, it's not great. It has, I'm assuming that's tamarind on the inside. The exterior is okay, but when I bit into it, the aftertaste, whew, the other one of them hang with you for a minute. Uh, it's stuck in my teeth, so I've got that to look forward to. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Tomorrow's? Well, maybe that means you get to taste it tomorrow's too. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, I hope this is real Mexican candy. It says there we ordered it, Mexican candy pack. I, I'm assuming this is really the candy they have down there. And I'm assuming this is going to run through me like Mexican food. I'm not biting that. There's no way. That's. I don't. I don't know it. It's. What's that fruit called? Tamarind. I must. It all tastes the same. It's like our candy has different flavors, and there's. Pretty much all taste like chili powder or tamarind. <laughs> it's, you have one of two things. And that's, I, I can't bite that. Okay, next. This is getting to be a long video. Pika. That's lightning ain't good enough. Gomas? Pika's Gomas? I don't know. All right. This is so sticky. Good God. Look at this. I mean, it's just like stretching out on the package. I really dread putting this in my mouth. I'm not going to lie. For the love of God. Ah. Ah. That's horrible. Oh, that is not candy. That is a CIA torture device. Ah, oh, good God. Uh, tell us what you know or we're going to make you eat that. Ah, oh, that's awful. That's, I'm sorry that, ah. Uh, Okay, Pika Limon. It is salt. I hate salt. Lemon. Don't like lemon. Hot powder. I like hot food. Salt and lemon. I hate both of them. I never salt anything, and I never eat anything lemon. So right off the bat, mmm. Let's see what we got. Let's open this. Let's see what we got. I don't want to sniff it too much because it's a powder form. 
I'm afraid I'll go up my nose. <laughs> that would be horrible. All right. All right. It looks like just a brown salt. You can see it right there. It tastes like a sour salt. I mean, they nailed it. Lemon salt. <laughs> I mean, if you think in your mind what lemon salt would taste like, son, that, that company <coughs> nailed it. <coughs> it went down my throat. <coughs> oh, God. Okay, I think I'm going to go into whatever this is next. Uh, Pelon Pelo Rico. Looks like a rocket ship. Uh, oh, my God. Look, like, like, oh, just. Oh, God, the heck. <laughs> my nose is running. So I'm assuming we squeeze this from the bottom and we get some, oh yeah, it's like a Chia Pet. <laughs> Definitely not the consistency of a Chia Pet. It looks like I sneezed on my finger. All right. Why does everything taste the same? For the love of God. Ah, uh, God. It all tastes the same. Well, not, except the chili stuff. That's, the chi uh, the chili stuff is worse than, than this stuff. Th this is like a one. The chili stuff is like, <coughs> oh God, a negative three. Oh, good Lord. Mmm. Uh, I got gum, and I got this. What do I put this on? Sucker. Let, you put this on a sucker? Put it on anything. Uh, oh, that's horrible. So I've heard that the local icy place has this so that they can put this on icies here if you want it on your icy. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I will never put that on an icy. Just saying that. So I was told to put it on a sucker. I don't want to ruin this sucker because I may need it. So I'm going to put it on the, the hand sucker. Second best sucker. I do want to say, after eating that salt, my tongue is burning. It's burning. Not bad. It feels raw. It feels like it literally ate the hair off my tongue. Just burn it off. I'm, I'm so afraid of this. Should I slow move that right there? <laughs> the drip. God, the things I do for YouTube. Bottoms up. even know how to describe that it's it's got a little heat to it and then it tastes like some of the other suckers that were horrible uh chili has like a chili and that fruit flavor or something i don't know it's like they mixed the two worst things here together and was like here you go. <sighs> That's horrible. Last thing. This is last thing. It's gum. It's pretty hard to screw up gum. I'm just thinking. If I can, well, it's hard to open the gum. Let's see what we got. While well, this lovely flavor just 
lingers on my tongue. All right, about got it. All right, it's candles. Tastes like cinnamon gum. Just like normal old cinnamon gum. So, uh, if you like cinnamon gum, it's a 10. It tastes just like big red or something. Yeah, I, got, I got this stuff all over me. Um, tastes just like big red or something like that that we have here in the state. It's good stuff. All this stuff made my hot. All that, um, that chili pepper stuff just made my nose run. All right, overall, what do I think? Don't do it. Two words, don't do it. If you're looking for something, the gum's pretty decent. It's, um, the sucker is pretty good. The sucker's really good. This one's doable. This one's doable. Nothing else I tried will ever go back in my mouth ever again. Ever. So, uh, that's it for the Mexican candy. I don't know what we'll be doing next. I don't know if it'll be the Japanese candy or if it'll be the Korean candy, whatever it is. But as far as the Mexican candy goes, it was horrible. 95% of it was horrible. And I want to apologize to everyone that has to eat this because you don't know what you're missing out on on real candy because uh, this is not it. But after eating this, I can see why Americans are overweight. Because if I had to eat this, I wouldn't eat much of it. Appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.